Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. This is part four in my short screencast series on getting started with the Facebook Open Graph API. So now that you've created all your objects, you wire it up. Now I ran out of time to be able to do this on TKP because I have certain requirements that I, I still need to think about and work with, but I want to finish my video series. So what you guys could do is you can go to the sample gallery and you can pull down this social cafe sample, which is really simple PHP app. And um, what you do is you take the uh, code that you uh, that's generated so I'll just go into the recipe for example and you just paste that into your PHP app now you have to, to configure a few things like the URL to the object and so on and so forth and the sample is really pretty easy to understand I have it open here so you can look at it um, again just so we have a point of reference what we are doing is um, we have a website and when you click on you after you authenticate and you approve the Facebook app then you click on the coffee drink after you log in and then that appears on your timeline so it's a simple sample. It's up in the developer uh, gallery, and I'd recommend that um, you know when you're wiring things up, you you pull it down if you're if you're working in you know PHP. So I'll show you what the code looks like. So in the um, objects, uh, the website itself only shows uh, coffee drinks, but they have tea drinks as well. This is um, the uh, meta tags that are generated on your custom object. So you paste that in, you see that into the object definition, and I just collapse the rest of it down so you can see here. So you've got, you know, T, and this is your, your Facebook app ID, and here we're just, you know, bringing that in a, as a variable, and your image, so it's a variable, obviously, your URL, your type. So this, this sets the, you know, the picture and what's returned, basically, um, so that your noun, if you will, your object. And then how you wire up with your verb in this case, I think it's a drink a drink a coffee drink. So this is on the index PHP. You can see inside of here you got publish your custom action, and um, to the Facebook API. Then you have your app namespace. Remember I talked about that in the beginning, and then it's colon drink, which is you you have um, you know consumed or or you've had your your drink, and that will be posted up. So I tried this out. It worked you know flawlessly, and I'd recommend that if you know you're intrigued after watching this screencast, the first thing you do is you, you um, run this and you get it to work. You see how it works through Facebook because one of the things about working with the Open Graph API is it's, it's, the documentation is a little tricky to get through, not that hard actually, but it, figuring out what information is going to be relevant and how to visualize it actually requires some thinking and that's why I didn't complete the TKP app yet even though I've got the comment thing wired up. So um, if I've got you intrigued then um, you know, I'd be interested to see what you might build with the Open Graph API. Also, I saw that Facebook has an um, an app center now. So if you have some app that you uh, want to put it up in an app center, I haven't really tried this out, but I, I thought it was interesting. I wanted to include it for completeness. Um, also, I would really recommend that uh, if you are going to do anything other than just posting a picture or something, that you watch um, watch the F8 videos. Um, it, it takes about four or five hours, but um, there's a, a really particular one I would recommend is one of the ones in the screenshot here, which is um, Games on the Open Graph. Um, so, you know, interesting applications for gaming. I think the example they use is like one of those word games. So if you get a word of longer than six letters, you post it, which is kind of cool. I mean, I can, I can see that again, getting the right data and getting the ideas about what the right data might be, I, th is, I think as important as coding this thing up correctly. Um, so this is under, I've got the URL here under the developer videos, got some good ideas there. Also, um, there's a whole bunch of samples around mobile that, you know, a lot of us are probably going to be making mobile apps. My use case happens to be a static website. So in any case, I hope I taught you a little bit about the open graph. It was fun. And as I work along, I may um, update this to show you what I've done. For right now, I just solved the comments problem and I'm working on the, having the kids publish the recipes. So this is my TKP site, Teaching Kids Programming. Try it out if you want to teach some kids stuff. Watch the integration with Open Graph. And this is more about me. I usually work in the realm of data, but here I've just gotten interested in this Facebook API and thought I would share my information. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.